Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning in for this talk. My name is Sridang Mare. I'm a postdoc at Indiana University, and this work is in collaboration with Franzi Rosner and Yoshi Kono, who are faculty at the University of Washington. The goal for this talk is to share our study, which is the first in-depth exploration of smart devices in the context of Airbnb, and hopefully to leave you with some interesting research questions and direction. All right, uh, first some motivation. People are increasingly using smart devices. For the past five years, the growth of smart devices worldwide has increased more than 25% year over year. These devices raise security and privacy concerns, not just for people who live in the homes or homeowners, but also for people who may visit these smart homes, right? So guests or other visitors. Now, if you try to map the threats and potential adversarial actors for both homeowners and guests, we would have device manufacturers and third-party services, which are external actors. They do not have physical access to devices. And internal actors, people who can get physical access to these devices. So those are guests or visitors, other home occupants, or for guests, they would be homeowner or you know, other guests. So the focus uh, in this work was this particular threat, threat to homeowners from guests and threat to guests from homeowners. And this is especially important if guests and homeowners are strangers, right? Which is generally the case for short-term rentals. Now to give you a sense of how uh, big the short-term rental ecosystem is, in 2016, Airbnb reported 117 million stays. In other words, Collectively, people stayed 117 times in strangers' house. So uh, in terms of just number of bookings and listings, Airbnb is comparable to the largest hotel chains in the world. Right? And Airbnb is one of the short-term rental services. There are several others, but Airbnb is the most common and popular one, So, which is why we picked it for this study. Before we get into the specifics of the study, uh, let's quickly, you know, briefly, I'll, I'll briefly present. Before we get into the specifics of the study, let's look at how the Airbnb ecosystem works, um, specific to the things that we would need for the staff, right? So there you have people who are hosts, uh, they want to rent a property for a short duration, and the property can be a room in the house or an entire house. Uh, they create a listing, post it on Airbnb, and then you have people who want to stay in these properties for a short duration. These are guests. You know, they, can, they search for property on Airbnb.com. Um, they find one, make a reservation. Airbnb connects guests and host. It facilitates payment, and then it you know, steps out of the picture unless there is a dispute to be resolved between guest and host, right? So this is sort of the setup. All right, so in our survey, we focused on three things, uh, smart devices in Airbnb, data sharing in Airbnb, and perceived security and privacy concerns. Or more specifically, our questions were like, what smart devices do guests want in Airbnbs? What data they do not want to share with their hosts? and what are their security and privacy concerns related to smart devices in Airbnb. And we asked a similar question to hosts. And then finally, we looked at both their views in terms of data sharing and data preferences to see where their views match or where they conflict. To explore these research questions, we used a survey methodology. We designed a survey iteratively. We first looked at forums to get a sense of the kinds of issues that people raise. Then we created a survey and conducted a pre-survey with where all of the questions were open-ended. And the goal there was to get a range of responses that people give to these questions so that we can choose good multiple choices for our questions in the survey. And then we had about five rounds of iterative testing, um, which helped us revise and polish the survey into the final survey. And then we deployed the survey on Amazon MTurk. We first had a screening survey where we, which we used to identify Airbnb hosts and guests from the uh, MTurk po population. And to guests, we gave the guest version of our survey and to host the host version of our survey. 
In all, we had 636 participants, 554 were guests, 82 were hosts. Um, our sample was fairly gender balanced. The majority of our participants were in the age group 25 to 44. They had college degrees and were from the United States. In terms of age and gender, our sample is comparable to the broader Airbnb user base. Now let's look at the findings. First, guest device preferences. We presented these smart devices to guests and we asked them which of these devices they would like to have in their Airbnb. And they could answer on a four point scale, yes, neutral, depends on the location of the device and no. We found that the most wanted devices were, which are towards the bottom in this chart, were smart TV, door lock and gaming consoles. The least wanted were smart camera, motion sensor, and voice assistants, which are somewhat privacy uh, invasive devices. But for each device, there were participants who wanted the device, as well as participants who said they do not want that device. So this highlights that there is no one size that fits all uh, in terms of devices for hosts in Airbnb or short-term rentals. Furthermore, participants also express that they have fluid preferences that is, their preferences could change depending upon context. For example, they may generally not prefer a gaming console, but if they were traveling with kids, they would want a gaming console. Um, they said their preferences also depend on where the Airbnb is located, where, how much time they expect to spend inside the Airbnb, and how many days they are staying in an Airbnb. All right, so this was about guest device preferences. Next, we, to get a quantitative sense of participants, guest participants' concerns or risk perception, we present them with six different incidents, which are here on the vertical y-axis. And we ask them, how likely do you think it is for the following incidents to happen in Airbnb? And we also ask them, if the following incidents were to happen to you, how would you feel? And they had to answer on a five point scale upset trading, not at all to extremely upset. And likelihood question was on a five point scale, extremely unlikely to likely. We find that for somewhat privacy sense, uh, invasive incidents such as host monitoring and activity or hidden camera or microphone, participants generally express that they would be upset, especially for hidden camera and microphone, um, majority of the participants saying they would be extremely upset. But Somewhat surprisingly, almost 20 to 25% participants at least said that these incidents are likely or extremely likely to happen. Which suggests that participants do anticipate risk, but perhaps there is no reasonable method for them to check for or even defend against these risks. Now, in addition to these specific concerns that we asked for, participants also raised different concerns in their open-ended responses. And from our thematic analysis, we identified four main themes of concerns. So in the interest of time, I'll just go through the first three. The first one is spying host. As the name implies, this was, the concern was that the host would use smart devices to spy on guests. And many participants said they do not want to be watched or you know, there was uh, references to the feeling of being watched, which participants do not like. And like another participant said, all of these sensors so referencing to motion sensor, outlet, and camera. Things I chose no for seems like they could be a little invasive, like the Airbnb host could use them to spy if they choose to. When justifying why a participant doesn't want to share internet activity uh, with host, one wrote, I would just say that I have never logged on to the Wi-Fi at an Airbnb with my own device. I just don't trust giving them access to my devices or my internet activity. And another participant said, I feel like if they need to know everything, then they are invading your privacy. As long as you respect their apartment or home and leave it how you came, then I don't know why they need to spy on you, right? So this particular comment actually makes two interesting uh, points. One is this participant is trying to rationalize why the host would need that information. And two, it's also alluding to the amount of information that the host may ask for rather than specific types. So you know, comments, this comment and comments like these have implications for data and device disclosure in the context of Airbnb. The second 
concern was technically unsophisticated host. Uh, so a participant wrote, I'm not comfortable with someone else's smart devices. Some people don't take the necessary precautions and I don't want to suffer because they can't be bothered. But there's also the aspect of the host not being capable or tech savvy enough to actually you know, take the necessary precaution. In the context of smart door lock, one participant wrote, if the host forgets to change the codes between rentals, there's a chance of a prior renter coming in when I'm there, right? So highlighting the security risk for a guest, another participant had a bad experience with smart door lock. They wrote, one time I had to wait several hours outside an Airbnb because the host didn't set the door lock code correctly. The third concern was uh, discriminatory host. And this concern was that the host may use the data from smart devices or the smart devices themselves to harm or against the guest in some way. One participant wrote, when I use an Airbnb, it is because I have a larger family, three kids, and it is difficult in a hotel. The last thing I want is for my noise level to be judged. We are going to be louder than the normal family, right? So this participant wrote this in response to not wanting to share noise level with the host. Another wrote, if the rental is non-smoking, then I do not want to smoke. Then I do not smoke inside, but I do not want to be monitored. Another participant wrote, I'm paying for a room. I have health conditions and deserve to be able to be comfortable without repercussions. This was in reference to being in reference to sharing smart thermostat data with the host, and this participant did not want to do that. So here the repercussions are generally in terms of a host controlling smart thermostat or leaving a bad review for the guest. All right, let's look at host findings. Um, similar to guests, we presented hosts with incidents that could happen in their Airbnb, and we asked them the likelihood of that incident as well as how upset they would be if that happened to them in their Airbnb. Now the incidents like breaking house rule, um, guests leaving, doors and windows unlocked or misusing resources were seen as fairly common and the upset rating sort of was somewhat evenly distributed for these incidents. But for for incidents like changing passcode and password or installing a secret camera, which are somewhat on the you know, malicious side spectrum of things, participants said they would be uh, extremely upset or moderately upset if these things happened. But they also rated these things are as unlikely or extremely unlikely. So overall, it seems that the guests are interested in ways to use smart devices, but to detect guest misbehavior. And they are somewhat less concerned about technically sophisticated malicious activities, like installing a secret camera, although with the current advances in devices, it's not very hard to do. Let's look at the host concerns. Looking at the open-ended responses, we found that hosts were concerned about two main things. One was property damage or theft. Um, to this effect, one participant wrote, the only cameras I have are pointed at my front and back doors, so I feel like it would be difficult to monitor if guests were damaging property without invading their privacy. So here, this participant acknowledged or you know, expressed the need for monitoring their property for damage, but also acknowledged the tension with regard to guest privacy if they want to monitor indoors. Another concern was violating house rules. Almost 50% you know, participants thought this is something which is likely or extremely likely to happen. And participants expressed that they use smart devices to do or address this concern. One participant wrote, how they shared how they caught a guest violating their house rules. A guest once brought a dog, caught him on front door security camera, which is against my house rule. I confronted him and later reported to Airbnb. All right, let's look at the views of uh, views of host and guests in regards to data sharing. Here, what you see on the vertical y-axis are different data types that can be collected or in information that can be collected about the house and about guests. So the bottom four uh, rows are about house information, utility usage, thermostat settings, for example, and the top seven are guest information, information about the guests. So par guest participants were, most of the guest participants were okay sharing information about the house with host. But when it came, came to guest information and specific about personal information like their history, TV watching history, 
uh, many guests were not comfortable sharing that information. And this, these three uh, information types or area types are as versa, there's somewhat a disagreement between guests and host. Or for other information, guest information like when you arrive, when you leave, noise level, number of guest things, smoking activity, many guests wanted to share, but there's still, there were guests around like 20 to 30% guests who were not comfortable sharing this information with hosts. So there's some water disagreement here as well. But if you have a guest um, who does not want to share any of this information, then how likely are their privacy to be violated if they were to share it with one of these hosts, right? So we tried to find that. And what we found that just within eight days, each of these information types would be asked by a host if within eight days. So, well, which is very concerning. So looking at overall the study, we find that there are clear tension. There's, there's clearly there's tension between guests and hosts, but there's also an overlap, right? Overlap between their values and their desire to support and sustain this ecosystem. So we can perhaps leverage this overlap to design solutions that would meet their individual needs while respecting their privacy, right? So this is, I think the main takeaway um, I would like to give from the study. And based upon our findings, we presented some concrete design recommendations in the paper. Um, uh, in the interest of time, I'll just briefly mention the first one, uh, least privilege sensing. And this is inspired by the principle of least privilege access. And the idea here is that even though the sensors can be hazardly sensors that can capture rich information, maybe we can control what the guest sees, right? So giving the least privilege. So for example, if the guest has a rule that they do not allow dogs, right? So, and they have set up a camera to monitor that. So maybe we can have a hardware or software abstraction so that the host does not see the raw feed, um, but only gets a notification when there is a dog or when there's a guest who's coming in with a dog, right? So least privilege sensing. And then there are interesting challenges around when they should be activated, how the guest can trust that it is indeed not giving raw data to the host. And for similarly for the host that it is actually um, I, the accuracy of this particular abstraction or detect, detectors. All right, so in summary, we conducted a first in-depth exploration of smart devices in the context of short-term rentals. And, and, and in the pro, you know, by, by doing a large-scale study of uh, around 636 Airbnb users, what else we found that there is a need for smart devices in short-term rentals, but the design space is extremely nuanced, which makes it challenging to create solutions that would address the needs of both guests and hosts. We suggested some concrete design recommendations in the paper, as well as research direction. We hope that this study will provide a foundation for future work in this space. I, I can now take questions. Thank you.